Hi guys, uh, just a little introduction. My name's Stuart Meadus. I work for Envision UK, have done for 13 years. I am their senior support engineer and I'm the guy on the end of the phone when you ring up and ask how you do something. Um, so now you can put a face to the name. Uh, I had a few questions today regarding images in Apex and how you get them in um, and best code of practice and so on. So if I just do a short video just to explain how I do that. So uh, most file types are supported by Apex. The ones I always stick to are bitmaps, JPEGs and PNGs. If you don't know, a PNG is a file that has no background to it. So I, if it was a logo um, and you brought that logo in and put it on top of a button, you won't get the box behind it essentially. You just get the logo sitting on top of the button. Uh, if you, when you copy your images, whether they're from online, um, from your own media collection, wherever, um, you go to your documents folder. In there you'll see there is integration designer. And then in that folder is one called bitmap libraries. This is where you want to put all your pictures. Now. I go one step further, as do quite a few people, and I actually create folders with what I, I group my icons in, essentially. So you can see in here we've got channel logos, um, Dolby DTS, HTX, my buttons, icons, zone icons. Um, and then inside there is the images. So because you've brought them into file structure like that, it's very easy to find them inside Apex. So you click on bitmaps at the bottom and then if you click on the drop down you'll see bitmap libraries is the main folder that's where them folders are and then you've got channel icons, my buttons, my icons, zone icons and then you'll see those same images that was in that folder are now represented in Apex. I hope you found that useful if you did, drop us a like, um, give us a comment below if there's any more information you'd like on adding images into Apex, and I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!